Hello friends, in today's video lecture, we are going to learn about 3D translation. 3D translation is from unit number 5 that is 3D transformation and viewing and this is the most important unit for GTU exam. It may be a weightage of this unit is 20%. So, it's most important, right? Now, what is translation? Translation is nothing but the process of moving something from one place to another place, right? Now, already we discussed earlier uh, 2D translation, right? So, it is similar to 2D translation. Now, in 2D translation, we used 3 cross 3 matrix and in 3D translation, we are going to use 4 by 4 matrix, right? So, this is the major difference and let's see 3D translation. Now, I am uh, drawing one figure. It may be clear with 3D translation. Now, we have three plane x y and z right x y and z now what is 3d translation suppose this point right this point is translate into this plane right so this point is known as p x y and z and this point will be known as p dash x y and z right so we are translate thing this point to p dash right so what will be our translation t is equal to tx ty and tz right so this is uh, the figure of translating point that is we have translate p to p dash right now what are the uh, what are about the object so suppose one 3d object is translate in this plane for example this is the uh, image of 3d square right so this will be translate in this plane so it may be look like this so what we have to do this object will translate over this xy plane so this is t is equal to tx ty tz so this is the figure of translating object right this whole object means this all this whole object is translated to x y plane now i hope you understand 3d translation so let do the matrix of 3d translation from this figure right so in 3d translation we are using 3d translation 4 by 4 matrix right that is x y z and h h is for homogeneous coordinate now in 3d translation point in 3D translation point x, y, z is to be translate is to be translated by amount t x, t y and tz to location to location 
x dis y dis z dis right we already see uh, shown in this figure it is located to this x dis y dis and x dis y dis and z dis right so x dis is equal to what will be the value of x dis is equal to x plus tx means x point plus tx y dis is equal to y plus ty and similarly z dis is equal to z plus tz so matrix equation matrix equation for translation point that is p dash is equal to t into p right this is a point p dash is equal to translation point and t is equal to translation right so put the value of translation that is what if, what will be the value of p dash that is x dash y dash z dash and 1 now value of t matrix of translation that is 1 0 0 tx 0 1 0 ty 0 0 1 tz and 0 0 0 1 right this is x plane y plane and z plane into value of point that is x y z and 1 so this is a formula for translate one point to another point right now let's take one example of translation for example we have given that translate the given point p 10 comma 10 comma 10 into 3d space with translation factor T ten comma twenty comma five. Right? This is one example. This kind of problem will be given in examination and it may be asked in five to seven marks. So let's solve it. Now we all know that translation equation is equal to p dash is equal to t into p right now we have given point p 10 comma 10 comma 10 so value of x y and z and what we have to given that into 3d space with translation factor so here we have given value of tx ty and tz right so we have to find p dash value of p dash that we have to find so let put this all values in this equation so we get value of x dash y dash z dash and 1 so x dash y dash z dash 1 equal to value of t that is 1 0 0 value of tx is 10 so put 10 over here 0 1 0 value of ty is equal to 20 0 0 1 and value of tz is equal to 5 so we have to put values of t in this equation into x y z 1 so 10 10 10 
and 1. Now, what we have to do? We have to solve this matrix that is row or column, right? This way we can multiply this matrix. So, what will be the answer? 1 plus uh, 1 into 10 that is 10, 0 into 10, 0, 0 into 0, 0 into 10, 0 and 10 into 1 that is 10, right? So, we have to do summation of this first row and this that is equal to 10, sorry 20, 20, comma 30, comma 15 and 1, right. So, this will be the value of x dash y dash z dash 1. So, finally, final coordinate after translation is p dash is equal to 20, 30, 15. This will be our final answer, right? So, we can say that translation uh, point P is translated P dash is equal to 20, 30 and 15. I hope you got the 3D translation. Thank you for watching.